Hi, everybody. Wow, it's so exciting to be here. Such an honor and thank you, everyone, for tuning in. All right, this is Intuitive Listening with Trish Rock. And as it's my first show, I wanted to just talk about what the show will be about and also a little bit about me. And I also will be pulling a card, an energy card for all of us as a collective that are listening in or listening to the replay. And I'm also going to give a little bit of an overview for 2020. And I'm going to take a call. All right. So what is this show about? Well, this show is going to be really about helping you to tune in to all of your beautiful uh, innate abilities uh, with your intuition and we all have these abilities we just don't always trust it so I'm going to be each week focusing on one thing to really help you tune in to your own uh, inner guidance uh, I'm also going to be helping you to find solutions to any areas that you may be stuck in right now. And, uh, you know, teaching you just to trust yourself a little bit more and uh, those answers that are inside you um, to really help transform your reality into you know, the reality of your dreams and do it with ease and grace. So who am I? <laughs> I'm a transformational catalyst. I'm also an intuitive psychic and mentor. Um, I'm a show host here now at Moonstruck TV and a one Psychic Radio. Yay! <laughs> I also have my own channel at Trish Rock TV where I host guests that are really inspiring and doing their own unique energy work. Uh, I really have a passion to inspire people to live their best life. It's, you know, really been a, a journey for me out of the uncomfortableness of not feeling like uh, I was living my best life and journeying all of those uh, moments that I had a choice whether to stay there or to move forward. And this is what I also love to help people with and inspire people with. And uh, today, before we get into doing a reading for someone, I just tuned in to the collective energy of everybody who will be listening to this broadcast and watching, uh, and also who will be listening to the replay. And I pulled one of my light language energy cards for a message for all of us for this week and I'm going to do that each week just to give us some guidance on uh, you know how we can move forward uh, for the week and the card that I pulled was awakenings uh, and if you're on the radio and you can't see this it's a beautiful light language code uh, it's kind of looks like a, a tick I'll put it up here so you can see. <laughs> um, it kind of looks like a tick with an infinity eight on the top of it. And it's called Awakenings. And I want to just read this to you. We all experience moments of great awakening during our life. Those moments of clarity and knowing that lead to the greatest jumps on our spiritual journey. We may not always be completely conscious that those moments have occurred, but they're imprint is deeply marked on our soul. They show lessons that have been learned, spiritual journeys we have completed and teachings we have mastered. Uh, and it really is for, for all of us that are tuning into this this week, it really is a time of forgiveness, love and surrender. And, uh, you know, as, as we awaken to this new journey, uh, especially now here in 2020, where 
we really have the opportunity this year to set some goals in place, some dreams in place, and to really start living the life that we want to live, the life that we know that we deserve. And, um, you know, often, often we'll have those dreams and we will have those visions of how we want our life to be but we don't feel that firstly we either don't feel that we deserve it (laughs) or secondly we can't see the possibilities of it and um, I created a beautiful meditation yesterday about possibilities and limitless potential and it really is a fantastic tool I guess and way to absolutely tune in to the possibilities that are within you already so that you can see a way forward. Um, So it's like perhaps you've this year you've had some resolutions and um, uh, you know you've got some goals for, for 2020 and then, but in in deep in your heart, you're you're feeling like, how? I don't know the how. I don't know the possibilities. You know, who am I to get there? <laughs> and every possibility already exists, and you have the potential to do anything that you put your mind to, really, and that you really feel into and put your heart into. So this meditation uh, really takes you into that space um, and really shows you all of the possibilities uh, that are available to you and tunes into your potential. You can go over to my website and uh, get that meditation. It's free. Uh, so my website is uh, trishrock.com and uh, you can listen to it as often as you like and it really helps you tune in to those possibilities that you have within you. And if you've got an inner voice talking to you at the moment saying there's more, you deserve more, you can do more, you've got this, then you know, this is really a voice that is um, is to be listened to uh, because it's your it's your energetic voice, and it's only the voice of fear that blocks out that actual voice. So, I'd really encourage you to um, head over to my website and get that meditation and start tuning in to your possibilities and your potential to truly do great things this year in your life and perhaps in the lives of others as well uh, and really be of service uh, and really start living your um, purpose here. So uh, the other thing about 2020 that I would like to tune into uh, before we go to a a caller is that it's a, a universal number four year Now, number four is about stability, it's about foundations, it's about structure. And we can see all around us that structures are being broken down and rebuilt. Um, And this is across the universe. So we start with the universe, (laughs) the planets, our planet, um, the institutions, governments, the nature, and then bring it all the way back into ourselves. And our structures are also breaking down and looking for more stability and uh, new foundations. And that really is the place to start. So I would, um, uh, I would really look at that and what in your life Uh, do you need to restructure perhaps for some uh, restructure for greater foundations this year to build on? And you'll probably find whatever is really pushing your buttons right now, whatever is really uh, 
feeling uncomfortable within you or in your life is really what needs to be restructured. So start there and start writing down all those things that um, are not feeling good for you anymore. Uh, and then you are truly able then to shift them and actually create and ask yourself if if that area of my life was to feel comfortable what would need to be in place and that's really what this year is about um, restructuring from in here <laughs> all the way out to the universe let's have a drink of water all right, now, love to take our caller, Gina in Cape May, New Jersey. Hello, Gina. How can I help Hello, you Hello, how are you? Okay, how are Very you? Well, Gina. Good, good. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to you also. How can I help you, darling? I hope you have some intuitions for me. Do I have inspiration, sorry, inspiration for you or messages for you, did you say? Yes. Okay, I didn't quite hear you. So I am take it you're saying, do I have any messages for you? Let yes. me have a look. Um, I'm really, I'm actually really picking up that you, um, oh, intuition. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just feeling that the, there's no plan moving forward is the words I'm hearing, Gina. Um, I feel that there's, uh, I feel that you've really overcome some some fear here um, that was keeping you stuck. And I, I think you've overcome that fear, but there's no, there's no kind of plan forward. So um, it's really important to, when we're shifting and when we're, when we're moving to to have that next step it's like um it's like you've you've hopped in the car and you've decided you don't want to be there anymore um and you've started driving but you don't know where you're going so is there um is there something you've changed in your life in the last couple of months gina Yes, a bad breakup, a heartbreaking breakup. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sensing that you're not really stuck in that anymore, but you don't really know life without that. And, you know, that is really the key here is to really ask yourself, uh, you know, what, what brings me joy right now? And moving forward, you know, what what is my vision for this year at least what's my vision for this year so um that might be you know being in another beautiful relationship by the end of the year or it might be you know you feeling comfortable on your own or it might be you know you feeling less um loneliness i guess uh but there really doesn't seem to be a plan forward. I feel you're in a bit of a holding pattern there, but you you you're waiting for you're waiting for something to come along and guide you to the next step but but you haven't really got a vision of of how you want to feel so um, where do you want to be at the end of this year, Gina? A baby? No, but no babies. <laughs> Sorry, Too old for a baby babies. Now. Okay, I can't quite understand you. So um, you're wanting to have babies? No, I'm too old for babies now. No babies. Okay. Okay. So what? 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 What would you? Where would you like to be by the end of this year, Jean? Or what would life look like for you? I would like to be financially secure and happy and loved somewhere. Yes, 
Yeah, so that's the picture that you need to focus on. Um, and if that's the end result, really feeling loved, feeling secure financially, feeling secure emotionally, then, you know, that's the, that's the goal. And every decision you make, you need to ask yourself, is that going to help me financially? Is that going to help me emotionally? So it's really that clear that clear vision for you, I think, that, that is, is missing. Um, now, you know, on a practical, on that, on that intuitive level, it, it really is a case of um, you're the one that needs to steer the ship. And on a practical level, there also needs to be some things put in place as well. And you can start today to put some things in place to find that financial freedom. I'm just going to pull an answers card here for you. Um, oh, so this one has come up within the next few weeks. And for me, this is saying that some you're going to have an opportunity coming up in the next few weeks, Gina. And if you're still kind of, um, you know, driving life without a map, the opportunity won't seem uh, important to you and you might miss it. But I really feel it's an opportunity to create a new form of income or, or some, some type of financial opportunity that's coming up. Uh, so um, there needs to be a direction for you, though. There needs to be some action-orientated um, uh direction for you here as well. So um, just tune in to um, uh, what your guides are saying. I feel that the other card that I did in the beginning, this awakenings card, which is about forgiveness, love and surrender, mm -hmm. that's definitely the messages they're specifically giving for you as well, Gina. Whatever, um, whatever has happened, there needs to be some forgiveness. Um, there needs to be some letting go. And you need to start from this point here. From today forward, this is how I choose to feel and this is what I want in my life. And just that alone will help you see this opportunity that's going to be coming in in the next few weeks. Um, does that make sense to you, Gina? Yeah, yeah. Um, are you looking for a, something different in your in your career as well? Not necessarily. Yeah. Okay. Um, it might be this opportunity could have to do with 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 your career, perhaps. Um, okay. Well, it's it's like another. They're they're showing me like another form of income coming in. So, um, so it could either be with the work you're currently doing, or with something that you do now, or it could be something totally different coming in. And just be really open to to whatever opportunities come in for you, because um, it might just be really out of the blue, kind of left of field, and you might just dismiss it. <laughs> but it, it okay. really, um, yeah, yeah. So just, just keep an eye out for all all things <laughs> because sometimes right. we'll have sometimes we'll have things presented to us and we go, oh, no, that's not what I want or, oh, no, that doesn't, um, that doesn't feel like me or, no, that's not for me. Right. But, Whatever comes along in the next few weeks, um, I'm, I'm really thinking the first week in Feb, really just keep an eye out there in that first week in February um, for a new opportunity, either at work or uh, with a new type of hobby or something like that that will bring in um, new income for you. And then I would really suggest putting some things in in place financially to really grow that security from here to the end of the year so that you've got 
um, practical things in place as well um, that will really have you feeling secure and um, stable by the end of uh, this year. And Gina, the other thing I want to say to you um, before we finish up is that if you want to um, attract another person into your life, uh, you, we always attract the energy that we are. So if you want to attract somebody else who is also stable, then you need to be stable. So if you were to attract somebody in your life right now, you would possibly attract somebody who's also just had a heartbreak or a breakup and isn't quite stable. So I would really work on that. Uh, and then whoever you're going to attract into your life will be um, the same vibration as, as you in a, a more stable place. Okay. I hope that's helped. Yes. <laughs> yes thank you. Thank you so much, Gina. <laughs> and um, just before we finish up, I um, just want to let you all know how you can get in contact with me. You can go to your, you can go to my website at trishrock.com. You can also go, um, I do a weekly YouTube video uh, of the energy for the week and I also do an inspirational video. Uh, you can go there, um, Trish Rock on YouTube. I also have uh, a classroom and also a page over on Facebook that you're very welcome to come and join. Um, if you look up Trish Rock Abundance on, face on Facebook, that's my page, and uh, you'll see the links to the classroom there as well, which is a private group that I run, and I'd love you to come and um, be a part of that. Um, the other exciting thing <laughs> is that for anybody watching in um, in the US, uh, the readings and to come and work with me is really great value. So my readings are um, they're only eighty two dollars um, US, and you can book them on my website uh, if you go to trishrock.com forward slash psychic readings. You can book in a reading with me there. Um, you can also have a look at my mentoring program. Um, I've got an amazing mentoring program for anybody who is really looking for transformation. Um, it's a six month program and your life will truly change. And if you're really ready for that, then you know, check out that and, and get in contact with me and we can have a um, call about it just to talk through it. Um, that would be the best option. Uh, but I know when I was looking for change in my life because I felt, I felt like I was on an island and I couldn't get off it, <laughs> right? I tried to do it by myself and I couldn't do it. It, it took me years to realise that I actually needed help. So if you're feeling like you're on an island and you just don't know how to get off this island, um, please get in touch with me because uh, when you've got someone to help you and guide you, um, you can transform um, a lot faster and with a lot more ease and grace. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. Um, I'm really looking forward to being here every Wednesday or it's Tuesday in the US um, to guide you and take calls and give you an energy reading for the week. And this week, of course, it's awakenings. Surrender, love and letting go uh, and forgiveness. And remember to start with you. Love and forgiveness for yourself and tune in to what's in you that is calling you to restructure and give more stability to. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week. Reach out if I can help in any way. I would love to work with you and help you through any of your 
uh, flops and uh, stuckness <laughs> and help you have an amazing year. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now.